And now, live in studio, cutting through your typical media nonsense and offering you a rational and unbiased perspective on current events and life in Tampa Bay. He's a successful entrepreneur, published author, top listing agent, a real estate and finance expert that goes to bat for you every day as a consumer advocate. Your host and the consumer quarterback, Brandon Rhymes. Yes, here we are again another day committed to being your consumer advocate. It's all about you helping you win in any marketplace. That's the goal of our show. Over 50 show show expert contributors, 80 show categories of content and advice uh, that we want to help you. We want to make you just a bit more street smart here on the Consumer Quarterback Show, serving the community here in the greater Tampa Bay area, all the way down to Fort Myers, Naples as well, uh, through our listening channels as well. Syndicated radio and TV show, 4 o'clock drive time, right here on AM 860, The Answer. Weekdays, got a weekend show on FM 1025, The Bone. And we syndicate all of our content as well on Apple TV, Amazon Fire TV, Roku, and 85 other smart television outlets so you can find us on your smart televisions at home as well and we have our expert contributors here in studio today let's make our introductions connor keller back in studio insect iq welcome back sir hi brandon how you doing doing well my friend i think i'm setting off every alarm i have over here i Uh-oh. apologize for that's that. okay <laughs> uh yeah so i'm just glad to be here and uh, really wanted to talk about success today um success we've had in our business yeah. um, we broke uh, the million dollar mark this year for the first time been nice. in business for 25 years and really the sky is the limit and we can touch on maybe some of the things we we're doing differently that's gotten us there love it um also customer service you know uh, we we got really blasted on social media the other day uh, long-term customer five years we did one thing wrong and she just you know i mean it's Ugh. pages it's like volumes and volumes of how bad of a company we are Jeez. luckily uh, and within a it was thanksgiving week too so we were on a skeleton crew we we're all on vacation and it just we didn't respond to her needs you know if, yeah. if you're a lady and, and you have rats running around the inside in your kitchen you want somebody out there now to take care of it yeah. not not next week when we get back from thanksgiving yeah. so um, bottom line, I was able to save her and turn her around, and, and we're going out Friday to take care of her. So nice. There's always a happy ending. Good. That's awesome. Fred Muth in the house, the Tin Man. Danny DeVito? No. No, Fred Muth. Fred you know, Muth, yeah. even better. Richard Dreyfus? No, Fred Muth. Anyway. Tampa screens and aluminum. And I go back to the days when the Tin Man was a hot movie back in the 60s. Yeah. I, I remember from, my parents told me about it. I'm not that old. Yeah, yeah, just of kidding. <laughs> anyway, but you know, Connor, you, we talk about the reviews. Uh, you know, we we had a nightmare of a job one time uh, a year and a half ago. Yeah, and everything could that could go wrong went wrong on this job. The the concrete man, he he fixed it. He he did a tremendous job fixing it, and the the homeowner was upset. And I read the review the other day. It was nothing but positive That's of, good. Of, of, of how we corrected the problem. Nice. And, you know, my name's in there a couple of times. I, I didn't really correct it. I just stayed on top of it. But the, but the concrete contractor, he he went, you know, over the edge to correct the problem. And it wasn't something that he caused. It was a it was a weather condition. Right. I mean, we're nothing without our customers. And That's every right. single one is valuable to me. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And we're nothing without our bugs. Yeah. Neither yeah. neither one of us would be in business without these bugs. <laughs> without the bugs. Yeah. Don't, don't let it bug you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, hey, I want you to save the date here. We got a really cool fun event coming up on Wednesday, January 8th, and we're raising money for wounded warriors, our veterans that served our great country here. Uh, so what we're doing, we're bringing in Ken Shamrock, UFC Hall of Famer, back in town. Uh, we've got uh, Wednesday, January 8th. The location is TBD, but it's going to be a UFC Hall of Famer, WWF legend, and now founder of Valor BK, launched a bare knuckle fighting uh, group as well called Valor BK, and Tampa's own Antonio Tarver, uh, going to be in the same place, same location, and we're hosting the event. It's presented by the Consumer Quarterback Show, Tampa Bay Business Network as well. So Antonio is a five-time world boxing champion. Ken is a Hall of Famer in his sport, multiple-time champion. Uh, so it's going to be great networking, business networking opportunity, VIP meet and greets available, and of course, all servicemen and women get in free, but uh, we're going to have VIP tickets available. Check eventbrite.com and facebook.com, and we should have that information up very soon. Uh, benefiting the Wounded Warriors here on the Consumer Quarterback Show. And this segment is brought to you by Taps Restaurant, the official restaurant partner of the Consumer Quarterback Show is Taps 
restaurant. It's a gastro pub, burger bar, uh, taps restaurant, bar and lounge over at the International Plaza on Bay Street. And the restaurant offers outdoor patio seating. Dogs are welcome and also a charming interior. They have happy hour every day as well, 2 to 7 p.m. Late night happy hour on Monday as well. And they have over 100 plus local craft beers, excellent wine selection and craft cocktails. And the burgers are delicious as well. And the food is wonderful. Very friendly staff. Check out Taps Restaurant. Let them know the real estate quarterback sent you. Take them up on special offers and incentives just by mentioning that you're a fan of the Consumer Quarterback Show. And we want to help you win in your real estate deals as well, buying, selling, or investing. My wife and I own and operate the Platinum MVP team at Keller Williams Realty. Got a hot listing here at 216 North Spring Boulevard in Tarpon Springs. This is a property that has awesome walkability. You can walk over to the downtown areas. And if you check out the beautiful photography compliments of Fabray Frameworks, they've got some nice aerial shots as well that show how close you are proximity to the water. Just a beautiful property. Great opportunity. 216 North Spring Boulevard in Tarpon Springs. Too many updates uh, to list here, upgrades to list on the Consumer Quarterback Show. Uh, limited time. 706 Wellington Court in Oldsmar. This is a property that is a large home in one of the best areas in all of Tampa Bay. I love Oldsmar. It's so close to everything. 706 Wellington Court in Oldsmar. Four bedrooms, four bathrooms, three-car garage. You got a movie theater upstairs, solar panels on the roof. Great opportunity to own a beautiful piece of paradise here in Tampa Bay. Check out PlatinumMVPTeam.com. <clears throat> and coming up later as well, we have our feel-good story of the day. Engineers create a waterproof, breathable, itch-free cast. So feel-good story there of the day coming at you. So let's start with Connor Keller here. Insect IQ. This this cold, cold weather is, is something that's pushing a lot of the, uh, the different insects, the rodents. They're, they're trying to find a place to live, aren't they? They're trying to get into your house yeah, baby it's cold outside right it's yeah cold so outside. I, don't I don't think we're supposed to sing that song anymore actually i'm sorry oh so, really uh it's been put on that list uh anyways yeah so um like anything living they're seeking shelter food water shelter the elements of survival of life really and so this time of year uh your roof rats your squirrels your raccoons, possums, uh, even uh, armadillos outside we were talking about before the show are tunneling under your slab. All those kind of things are, are really kind of amped up this time of year because they're trying to get out of the cold too. Um, so what do you do about it? You know, it really starts with being vigilant, uh, see, seeing the activity. Uh, you, what you may see uh, with roof rats, you may see some discoloration around a, an opening or gap you probably know about in your house and have ignored for a long time and the rats have found it. Um, if you go up in your attic, you may be going up and pulling down Christmas decorations right now. It's that mm. time of year. If you see droppings, if you see fresh droppings, uh, trails through the insulation, odor urine stains any of that should be alarming and you should figure out what's going on and do something about it rodents are the number one cause of fire in florida and uh you know if your house catches on fire and burns down you won't have a very good christmas so wow um, raccoons you know they're they're much more destructive you're probably going to see like a piece of siding ripped off or um even the side of your house i've seen that happen where they're just you know you have block and then uh wood framing for the roof structure and, and attic space above that and they'll actually come up and find a weak construction point and just rip it off the side of the house or rip it open go wow. inside have babies uh, seek shelter in the cold uh, raccoons are mostly active at night but if you see them during the day there's probably something going on either they're sick um, there's a shortage of food or a competition something you know something's disturbed them uh, possums will also go up in the attic or possums will go in the attic one thing you'll notice they're, they're nocturnal as well is it looks like a dog like a small dog's been running around in the attic using the bathroom um, their, their droppings look like a canine dropping um, or their scat, if you want to call it that. Mm -hmm. um, I'm a poet and I didn't even know it. So um, those are the kind of things you'll you'll probably notice most this time of year uh, because of, of going up in your attic and getting Christmas decorations and those kind of things. So now that, uh, you know, we've identified what you may come across and, and what to look for, what do you do about it? Yeah. I mean, try to do it yourself. Uh, maybe mm -hmm. set some traps. Really, if you know what's going on, you know, you, you don't set a trap for a, a raccoon in the same way you would set a trap for a roof rat or a squirrel right and that's where expertise comes in and experience and a lot of times by using a professional and, and seeking professional help you'll save time and money 
um, and and possibly a, a lot of stress and and uh, you possibly know possibly death too. Remember death, we saw yeah. that that we saw that one time where they they sprinkled the stuff under the house. It had the crawl space. The rain came in. The fumes came through Correct. the floor. Well, a lot of times these animals are up in an attic space or on your roof, so you're going up and down ladders, you're climbing plate. I mean, there's just yeah. all sorts of opportunity to get hurt. Yeah. Not to mention, if you can imagine being in an attic and coming across a raccoon and her babies and being cornered in the attic with her. Oh. You're gonna, yeah, yeah. Who, who's going to get out of the attic first? You know, yeah, exactly. It could be pretty scary. So that's where we come in and, and we're professional. We do a thorough inspection, figure out exactly what's going on, come up with a solution that's uh, affordable. Uh, but also is a good value. And then we back all of our work up with a two-year warranty. So once we do this, if the animals come back, we come back as well and take care of it free of charge to you. Been in business for 25 plus years. I do this work for the city of Tampa, all over Hillsborough County, really all over Florida. And we'd love to take care of the consumers uh, that are associated with the radio show as well. Yeah, absolutely. He's got Connor Keller here on the Consumer Quarterback Show, insectiq.com, insectiq.com. Rodents, rats, bats, raccoons, possum, all types of different, uh, you know, things coming in, threatening your properties as well. We started this company back in the early 90s and just did stinging insects. That's all we did is honeybees, yellow jackets, um, and really built the company up uh, door by door, company by company. Um, I have worked for the company going on my 10th year now. And the one thing, I think the one thing I can say that when we talk about success that I've added to the company is really diversified what we do. Mm -hmm. Um, Of course, the stinging insect, you know, we're it, we're the experts, consider the experts in the industry for stinging insects, but it really are coming to the forefront in animal services, uh, pest management, both commercial and residential, and then also um, termites. You know, we haven't talked about termites and, and, Mm -hmm. you know, it's that time of year you would think, well, it's winter time, termites are sleeping and they're hibernating. Well, actually we're getting in the subterranean termite season now and that's mm. one of our biggest uh financial problems in florida you went well what do termites have to do with money well if they're eating your house your single biggest investment um you know somebody has to pay for those repairs and your homeowner's insurance doesn't typically cover that and most of this stuff is completely preventable um, so kind of circling back to seeking professional help and we can do annual inspections uh, i'll come out free of charge and, and take a look at what's going on and work with you um, come up with a plan that again fits your budget. I know it's Christmas time. I know it's the holidays. Um, I know you're already probably spending a lot of money out there, and, and I think I could help you and save you money in the process. Yes, absolutely. I want to ask you about alligators, too. Okay. Gators around the lakes and the sure. dogs and all that good stuff uh, coming up here as well. I got Connor a good story Keller. about that one, too. Excellent. Yes. I My want to alligator talk to story. We got Fred Muth in the house, Tampa Screens and Aluminum as well, coming up right after this short break. Don't go anywhere. Don't touch that dial. Uh, Brandon Rhymes here, your host of the Consumer Quarterback Show. Check out ConsumerQB.com. You can see links there to all of our expert contributors, ConsumerQB.com. Thanks for listening to my daddy's show. For more information, go to ConsumerQB.com. To get in touch with Brandon, call 813-670-7372. Online at ConsumerQB.com. All right, this week we're going to talk about something exciting as usual. We always have something exciting. Yes, we do. At least it's exciting to us. But this is a question that comes up. TV, hey, it is Friday night. We're not here. Yes, we pre-recorded once again because We Beam TV is working over in Tampa with Dancing with Star. <laughs> the 62, who knew? I almost said Professional Mortgage Alliance, Joe's Bar and Grill. But actually, it's our 39th week of uh, 62, who knew? Uh, one. We're at the wonderful steampunk event at the Verizon Event Center here in 2019. I think it's still August, right? Yeah. Woo! Yes. To be able to help businesses to do the, that part of it. But it's just been a couple years. Well, and I've taken the business card files from our business card. Mm-hmm. Entrepreneurs and professionals of Tampa Bay. Welcome to your hour for getting the information, the tools, and the connections for battles on Radio Influence. Or you say left hand white, and then they catch the left hand white. What it does, it helps you quick with hand eye coordination. Ah, Yeah. As your 
uh, your super connector. We want to introduce you to our 50 plus show partners. We got over 80 categories of expert contributor advice here on the Consumer Quarterback Show, and we want to. That's, that's where we disagree, but that's okay. I said nonviolent. That's okay. Because, you know, we're, we're one of the only states that don't give them back the right. got Jamie Limbaugh. He is from the Next Step Image. I love, I love that image. Because you were telling me earlier. For the type of republic we actually are is actually very correct. Yet politicians and regular people use these words interchangeably, even though technically they are very different. Uh, our, You're an overdoer, overachiever, people pleaser. We tend to neglect ourselves. Mm -hmm. And even as sisters connected here, you know, with women on script that I know. to the consumer quarterback, Brandon Rimes, cutting through your typical media nonsense and offering you a rational and unbiased perspective on current events and life in Tampa Bay. Online at consumerqb.com. All right, welcome back. Thanks for sticking with us. Brandon Rimes here, your host of the Consumer Quarterback Show, powered by the Platinum MVP team at Keller Williams Realty. My wife and I own and operate a top real estate team uh, here in the area, and we want to help you win in your real estate deals, buying, selling, or investing. Uh, we would love to talk to you. And we got some hot listings here, right here in Tampa Bay. Got a $2 million listing at 4348 Harbor Point Drive in Port Ritchie. And it's a beautiful waterfront property. Bring your boat. And it's a great opportunity to own a palace right here. Ultra high security as well. 4348 Harbor Point Drive in Port Ritchie has two security gates before you even get onto the street. And it's a gorgeous home. Beautiful property, great for entertaining. Check out Harbor Point Drive on our website at PlatinumMVPTeam.com. Also, we've got a beach property here, 861 Mandalay Avenue on Clearwater Beach. We just re reduced this property, $5,000, down to $694,000, and it's uh, – Price below the comps. It's priced below the comparables. 861 Mandalay Avenue on Clearwater Beach. Gorgeous property. Two bedrooms, two baths. You actually have a third bedroom in the back. We cannot count it, though, because it does not have a closet in that space. Uh, so MLS rules say we can't count it. But it does have the third bedroom back there. Beautiful properties. Check out all of our real estate listings at PlatinumMVPTeam.com. And this segment is brought to you by the Bill Maher Beach Resort on beautiful Treasure Island, uh, Gulf, Gulf Boulevard, right here in Treasure Island, mm -hmm. Florida. Beautiful property filled with fantastic and generous amenities. they got two pools on site, Sloppy Joe's Restaurant and Beach Bar. They just finished up the sanding ovations, or they might still be around down there. And a great opportunity to take the family to the beach. Maybe it's a business trip. Maybe it's a wedding that you're planning. They can accommodate all of those. Uh, Bill Maher Beach Resort, let them know the real estate quarterback sent you. Book directly as well. If you book, give them a call. Let them know the real estate quarterback show. You're a fan of the show. And the Bill Maher Beach Resort, they, awesome, they have awesome uh, things going on on January. January as well for the New Year's. Uh, we're going to be down there for the New Year's celebration as well. So uh, come on down and say hello if you are around. And uh, we're back here in studio. Our goal is to help you win as your number one consumer advocate here uh, in Tampa Bay in the Gulf Coast region of Florida. Uh, we've got Connor Keller in the house, insectiq.com. We're going to talk with Connor about some gators here coming up as well. And Fred Muth, Tampa Screens and Aluminum. Now, I heard between the segment there, he mentioned it, can gators come through the screens? Well, you know, it's... <laughs> Let's, let's talk about it on the air. Uh, I, for the many years I've been in the business, I, I had one customer that uh, had a problem with a gator, and um, he was going to take the old cage down, put a new one up. He had a dog, and um, obviously the dog is what the gator is attracted to. Yeah. So he asked me to we'd build a new cage We if we would put picket railing in below the chair rail. Uh, One-inch pickets every four inches. It's going to stop a gator going through it, penetrating that part anyway. Hmm. But it didn't stop the gator from going over top. Oh. Uh, so we built the cage. Uh, the dog was in the house, fortunately. And wow. that that gator knew that the dog was, the scent of the dog was in there, wow. came up, 
over the 36 inch high chair rail through the screen wow. <laughs> and the gator was in the guy's cage holy yeah cow. so yeah you don't underestimate Come uh, on, yeah, man. Don't, don't underestimate anything <laughs> in, in wildlife okay yeah if you think about it we us humans we're kind of like we really don't belong here in florida in some cases you yeah know, we, exactly we came in afterwards i mean there's there's so many uh th different types of species down here animals you have to respect them yeah especially before ac we talked to greg on the show about you know the ac guy with tampa bay it was like Florida wasn't really inhabited much before. South of before Tallahassee right. and mosquitoes, too. That was the other problem. Yeah. And, of course, probably pool screens. You know, once yeah. pool yeah. screens came about, yeah. we all moved south. So, so. thanks to Fred. That's right. Yeah. And, and by the way, all the years I've worked with you, you never touch on the birds and the bees. Is that for another show or what? <laughs> yeah, that's. Uh, I, I think we have to do that at night after at night. 10 o'clock. Oh, okay, thank you. Just, just yeah. so I'd... Uh, so that's I'd a special out. podcast. Yes, we'll exactly. Quarterback you know, show overtime. Yeah, another thing uh, that I've run into in Florida... Um, we'll go in there to put the cage up. It's a high-end house, and it is built with high-end cedar. Mm. And it's, you know, 15, 18 years old. And the carpenter ants get into the cedar, and they burrow. Do you see right. a lot of that? Yeah, and actually, carpenter ants are not wood-destroying organisms, but they will find distressed wood either from moisture or previous termite damage. And and that's what you're describing. And a lot of times, you'll see the shavings from carpenter ants. Sure. But they're, they're, we actually have an exotic species of carpenter ant that's come in. We're calling them little stubbies. You know, carpenter ants are usually active at night. You'll see them dusk and dawn, kind of in high places. But these guys are active all day long, and they're trailing all over the place. But usually, they're associated like I said, with moisture problem or uh, previous termite damage. And the biggest mistake people make is associating them as a wood destroying organism. Wow. They eat protein, they eat other ants, they eat other insects, uh, mm. but they're they're ants, they're not termites, or <laughs> mm. they don't eat wood, I guess is the point. So, okay, so yeah. when, they, when they burrow into the cedar, because I see that quite often, right. is that, are they attracted to cedar, or is it just because the cedar's moist? It's because the cedar's moist, or like I said, probably the cedar's over uh, pine, uh, framing in usually. some cases yes. yeah in a structure yeah. like that and there there may be uh, moisture or termite damage in that and they're just going through to that there's nothing associated with the cedar interestingly enough though and not to get off on a tangent um, I don't know if you realize that uh, Florida in the turn of the century was a huge exporter of cedar and they had hmm. huge sawmills of this and it's all gone now it's all been cut down wow. I was recently saw where the whole rail car was like a big cedar trunk wow. you know and that they would they were sip, shipping off to sawmills so wow well, interesting little yeah. tidbit of history and, and another cool. thing I i've that. seen is uh where the armadillos will get in behind you know the, the the pool cage goes out right the pool cage was built uh on a slab without a footer which many of them have you know in the past were built like that and the armadillos on the back corner they'll get in and burrow underneath yeah, and that's very common very actually. common next thing you know there's a crack in the slab right the you know the, the pool deck's collapsing and the cage is falling because of the armadillos yeah wow. they they exploit those voids and and sometimes they're just food pantries as we call them they're just digging down looking for grubs and earthworms and things like sure. that sometimes they're actually burrowing what you you should do is fill them in and if they dig them back out you know that's an active burrow or, or pantry and then you can trap effectively in the area mm -hmm. wow now armadillos carry all sorts of diseases i don't recommend you know what are you going to do with it it's you can anybody can trap it but it's illegal for a uh um, owner like a, a private citizen to relocate them somewhere else oh, i didn't know mm -hmm. that no. yeah. i didn't know much about them yeah that's interesting. If you just joined us, Brandon Rhymes here. We're talking with Connor Keller, InsectIQ.com, Fred Muth in the house as well, Tampa screens and aluminum. What else are you seeing out there? Oh, Fred? boy, it's busy. Uh, it, even this time of the year when we'd like to relax a little bit, we're still busy. Still taking a lot of leads from the people from the Northeast. Uh, yeah. In fact, I was sitting in the parking lot on the phone with a guy from one of my customers in New York. He went back to New York for for thanksgiving and did not come back down yet in the 20s up there he's asking me what it's you know how warm it is i said and you're saying it's cold this is not cold it's freezing this is the <laughs> no, uh, and mosquitoes haven't gotten the hint that it's winter time either i mean that's a good point and that's probably one of the biggest reasons people get screens is to yeah. keep the the mosquitoes away so well, right. I, I think this year alone, uh, I, I think I've signed up uh, 40 to 50 uh, customers from the Northeast. They're, they're all coming down. They don't like the cold. They don't like the taxes. Yeah. They don't like the politics. They, yeah. they like the food, but they come down here and uh, they want a lanai, and we've talked about that. They yeah. don't even know what a lanai is. They just want one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so it's my job to tell them what a lanai is, and um, and they're, they're, they're good people to work with because uh, I'm from yeah. the Northeast, so yeah. I, I can get along very well with them. Yeah. 
and they, they come down here and um, you know they ask me about the weather and this and that and the other I just say hang in there spend a year and then you tell me about the weather because, yeah because you know summertime it's tough I have, to a rough, beach. I have a rough time in the summer down here Go to the beach in December you know shoveling sunshine that's that's what yeah you'll see a guy in december with shorts on it's 50 degrees you know he's from the northeast yeah exactly <laughs> i've ever seen that as a kid but uh but we're um we're still busy um a little more relaxed than uh, say two months ago i i can come up for air basically in the business so we're probably a little sort of relaxed up until mid-january beginning of february and then it starts to hit all over again yeah it's just, you know, as, as long as as long as you're selling homes brandon I love I'll it. be selling cages. Let's do it. Let's keep it going. Keep it going right here on the Consumer Quarterback Show. When we come back, feel good story of the day coming up. We got engineers create a waterproof, breathable, itch-free cast. Find out about that story and more from our expert contributors here in studio. Connor Keller in the house. Fred Muth, Tampa Screens and Aluminum here on the Consumer Quarterback Show. Check out ConsumerQB.com. Hey, this is Jarek Robbins. You are listening to the Consumer Quarterback Show with Brandon Rimes. Please do what it takes to learn all that you have to to live the life you want to live. Live it fully and find a way to give it by paying it forward to others. Get in touch with Brandon online at ConsumerQB.com. All right, this week we're going to talk about something exciting as usual. We always have something exciting. Yes, we do. At least it's exciting to us. But this is a question that comes up. TV, hey, it is Friday night. We're not here. Yes, we pre-recorded once again because WeBeam TV is working over in Tampa with Andrew Star. <laughs> 62, who knew? I almost said Professional Mortgage Alliance, Joe's Bar and Grill. But actually, it's our 39th week of uh, 62, who knew? Uh, we're at the wonderful steampunk event at the Verizon Event Center here in 2019. I think it's still August, right? Yeah. Woo! Yes. To be able to help businesses to do the, that part of it. But it's just been a couple of years. Well, and I've taken the business card files from our business card. Mm -hmm. Entrepreneurs and professionals of Tampa Bay. Welcome to your hour for getting the information, the tools, and the connections for battles on Radio Influence. Or you say left hand white, and then they catch the left hand white. What it does, it helps you quick with hand eye coordination. Ah, yeah. Well, uh, that's Your super connector. We want to introduce you to our 50 plus show partners. We got over 80 categories of expert contributor advice here on the Consumer Quarterback Show, and we want to. That's, that's where we disagree, but that's okay. I said nonviolent. That's okay. Because you know we're we're one of the only states that don't give them back your right. Got Jamie Limbaugh. He is from the Next Step image i love i love that image because you were telling me earlier for the type of republic we actually are is actually very correct yet politicians and regular people use these words interchangeably even though technically they are very different uh, our if you're an overdoer overachiever people pleaser we tend to neglect ourselves mm -hmm. And even as Sisters Connected here, you know, with Women Unscripted, I know. Consumer Quarterback, Brandon Rhymes, online at ConsumerQB.com. Brandon is Tampa Bay's number one consumer advocate for real estate and financial advice. Call Brandon today at 813-670-7372. 
All right, welcome back. Thanks for sticking with us. Brandon Rimes here, your host of the Consumer Quarterback Show, powered by the Platinum MVP team at Keller Williams Realty, helping our sellers profit more on the sale of their real estate properties. Uh, maximum exposure on all of our channels, Apple TV, Amazon Fire TV, Roku. Uh, we have our daily show, 4 o'clock drive time on AM860, The Answer. Got a weekend show on FM1025, The Bone, as well, on Sunday mornings. So we want to help you win in any marketplace, and that is our goal of the show as a consumer advocate right here on on the consumer quarterback show so we got a couple of hot listings from the platinum mvp team at keller williams uh realty here let's talk about 4426 honorio street in newport ritchie this is a uh, what a great deal this is a nice opportunity here in port ritchie newport ritchie uh two and a half bed four bedrooms two and a half bath three car garage overlooking a freshwater lake here in tampa bay with a beautiful screened in pool lanai area and it's it nicely updated on the inside as well it looks like a beautiful property here great opportunity priced around 270 range i think it was around 279 maybe uh 4426 honorio street in newport ritchie hot real estate property in the Platinum MVP team. Uh, we also have 15676 Mahoney Drive. Uh, 15676 Mahoney Drive in Spring Hill. Vacant land opportunity. We got nine acres of land available in the highly desirable Shady Acres subdivision up in Spring Hill. Lots of vacant land. I've got 84 acres out east. Uh, we got lots of lots available. Uh, Clearwater, we have a lot available as well on Myrtle Avenue. So check out all of our listings at PlatinumMVPTeam.com. PlatinumMVPTeam.com. And this segment is brought to you by our friends at Infinity Medical Institute. Check them out online at infinitymedicalinstitute.com. Over 10 years in business, and they've successfully treated over 40,000 patients with hormone therapy at Infinity Medical <clears throat> Institute. Pellet hormone therapy is an option for those that are looking for hormone replacement. They offer low-T therapy, weight loss plans, cosmetic services such as Botox. Uh, they have improved sexual wellness and increased energy. They're also adding stem cells. Cells, uh, to their uh, list of services as well. Stem cells at from Infinity Medical Institute, infinitymedicalinstitute.com. Check them out over here off of West Shore Boulevard, right here in Tampa, right down the road from our studio here where we are broadcasting live uh, right here at West Shore Boulevard and uh, here in South Tampa. Stem cells. That's I want to get me some stem cells. You know, got the old some of the old football injuries in the knee, you know, the ACL, the torn knee type thing, you know, get those stem cells. I hear they shoot them things in there. It feels good. Yeah, it's amazing. Everything we did wrong when we were younger is hitting us now. Correcting it, right? They can correct <laughs> Man, it. I'll tell you, you wake up in the morning, you're 90 years old before you get the first cup of coffee, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. And, the, and the, the testosterone levels, too. A lot of people don't realize, you know, they just naturally, gradually fall. And, uh, yeah, they do a great job over there. I'm not looking forward to that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so uh, in the studio today, we've got Connor Keller, Insect IQ, InsectIQ.com, longtime friend of the program, expert uh, in all things uh, pest control. We talked about honeybees as well here on the Consumer Quarterback Show. Fred Muth, the tin man in the studio as well. <clears throat> Tampa Screens and Aluminum, adding value to real estate properties by those beautiful additions of, of Lanai's porches, screen rooms, pool cages, lots of different names yeah, for them, yeah. but it's a great opportunity to add value uh, to your real estate properties here uh, in Tampa Bay. So, uh, let, yeah, Kate, I was going to ask you about gators. We talked a little bit about gators. Yes. And, and well, uh, Let yeah. me start off by saying I now know what a lanai is based on your listing that you put up there, you know, the beautiful lanai. That was actually an awesome house in uh, Newport Ritchie, yeah. I think, on Ornell. Yeah. yeah, and Honorio. what a deal. What a deal. I mean, geez. Waterfront like that. Yeah, maybe there's some alligators in there. So, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I always said, show me a body of water in Florida and I'll show you an alligator. I think that's probably a general rule. Even a retention pond, uh, even a little canal on the side of the road, um, there's either an alligator in it or, or will be shortly thereafter. So, yep. um, you know, I, I always tell, I like this story about alligators. I was installing up in New Tampa, uh, Centricon. Uh, colony elimination systems we've talked about that before it's a termite treatment for subterranean and you install them in the ground uh, and there was a wading bird on the other side of the pond it was probably you know maybe 50 yards across the pond and this huge i say huge alligator was probably eight or ten feet lunged out of the water grabbed the bird and dragged it back into the water and this whole time i'm sitting there looking over my shoulder watching this <laughs> thinking you know i'm next yeah um i had a gas-powered auger because i was you know digging holes essentially and putting these stations in 
in the ground and it was only three yeah. or four feet from the water yeah. and so i the whole time i'm thinking can i put this auger through the alligator's head if it came through <laughs> luckily i never had to figure that out but well, let uh, me ask you something because yes. i think there's a lot of misconceptions too people you know especially living on the lake now you know we live on lake tarpon and you know if you're if you're out there with a stand-up paddleboard or even a right. kayak what are the chances of a gator actually coming to attack you? So it all depends on the situation, really. Mm -hmm. Animals in general, wild animals, have a natural fear of human beings. You know, we do things differently. We smell differently. We act differently than anything else they come in contact with and want nothing to do with us. It's to, it's um, when they lose that fear of humans, generally that's because someone's fed them. Mm -hmm. um, and once they've been fed, then they associate that human being with food. So they're coming at you thinking you're going to feed them when you don't feed them then you become the food wow, and, and if yeah. you're uh, elderly or a child or a small dog you know you're a much easier target than a grown man and um, generally those are the people you read about getting attacked or or maimed or even eaten in some way not to be too graphic but yeah and alligators don't like fresh meat you know they'll take you and drown you and they that's where that death roll comes in mm. um, and then stick you under a log until you uh, well maybe is it lunchtime yeah, yeah so <laughs> but basically you know they they want you to age a little bit like a, a fine uh, piece of meat interesting so, yeah. yeah so it's gator you know how to protect yourself then from gators is you know, well you want to stay out of those areas obviously where they're at and yep. Um, in the spring or during when they're mating is the most dangerous time of year. But where, when you say areas that they're at, is that normally the side over there by right, the around water, pads? Around water, period. So if you're out paddle boarding and you see alligators around, um, they'll, like I said, keep their distance. But if they're paying attention to you or following you or coming, you need to get out of that area. That's not mm -hmm. a good time to be paddle boarding, uh, paddle boarding because pretty soon you could become lunch or dinner. Yeah, an early morning and late evening, right? Right, that's the worst Dawn time. Dusk. Yeah, but it, 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 again, if it's uh, getting to be that time of year where they're they're having uh, uh, babies and, and reproducing and that mating season is the most dangerous time of year. Yeah. So if you just joined us, I'm your host, Brandon Rimes. We're talking with Connor Keller here on the Consumer Quarterback Show. He's a termite and uh, pest control expert, also does honey bee removal as well. InsectIQ.com is the website. Uh, in the opening monologue, too, he's, he's mentioned that they had their best, most successful right. year so far. Kudos for that. Awesome to you. Yeah, I wanted to team. touch base on that customer service aspect. Even Fred and I were talking about this before the show, so I'm sure he has some input. Um, but like I said, I mean, we got a, uh, a, a really bad review on Google and then on Facebook and um, I'm not even sure on Yelp I mean this this woman really we did not make her happy and she wanted to make sure everybody knew about that and that's really probably your biggest fear as a uh, business operator is right. that one customer that doesn't say much to you but goes and blasts you and everybody they know and everybody on social media and it really could be detrimental after all when you you go to hire a screen guy or you go to hire a pest control guy generally the first place you're looking is online at those reviews and what past experiences people had so that's that can be very detrimental and you can't go change that you know there's really nothing you can do about that actual review um, one thing that we've done is really looked at how we're handling customers and managing our technicians and and dealing with the customers the follow-up the quality assurance and we've made huge strides there and i think that's representative in the growth we've had as well you know, if you take care of your customers they'll take care of you yep. um, but this particular time it was just the per perfect storm it was things Thanksgiving week and although we were open the first couple days of Monday and Tuesday and mm -hmm. half day Wednesday um, you know this customer had a problem and wanted that problem resolved then and there and we failed to do that and and so it's really our fault instant and, yeah. so like everybody wants something instant well right? you know like I said if you have rats running around your house before Thanksgiving I would want yeah. it taken care of too yeah. and um, we failed to communicate really I mean after I did all the research I really drilled down in the problem and spoke to everybody that was involved I was on vacation but I still take that personal responsibility for it Good. because the buck stops here you know I yeah. operate I'm the operations manager so yeah. um, you know really we should have systems in place that prevent these kind of things from happening yeah. the bottom line is um you know once the customer cooled down and and i was able to research and figure everything out i was able to go back to the customer um i offered to do the service free of charge i feel like that's the least thing we could do it was a thousand dollar animal service wow. um but we're gonna go out and take care of the customer and uh, we also say she was a pest control customer as well so we were able to save that account um and in the end i mean it, you're only as as good as your uh i guess 
Last, not his customer. Their yeah, last review. Yeah, and exactly. that's what they say too. A disgruntled yeah. customer is going to tell 100 people, a, a, a happy customer, you know, they might post for you and so here and there. Now we need a bunch of good reviews. So there if you're go. listening, if you like what I have to say, you know, go on to Facebook and like us and and, yeah. and say a kind word. And I'd appreciate that. And, and Connor, give us a word on honeybees because sure. sometimes you hear these misnomers. Oh, we're, we're losing the honeybee population. The food is going to be impact from it. What's What's going on there? Well, um, keep in mind, I deal with wild or feral honeybees. So mm -hmm. although honeybees on a farm or in an apiary are still honeybees, they're domesticated, they're purpose-driven honeybees. You know, we use them for pollination, use them for honey production, or even the backyard hobbyist. The bees I deal with have either escaped that and generationally have become feral or wild, their DNA, they're really mutts. Um, needless to say, we still want to protect the honeybees. So we try to relocate everything we can um, we have a, a rescue apiary. It's now up in Spring Hill. We moved it away. It was getting too big. Oh, the Odessa one? Yeah, we moved that to Spring Hill out into the country, basically, because we're rescuing too many bees. Yeah. That's, that's a good thing. It really yeah, is. that's cool. It offsets the ones we have to eradicate. Occasionally, we do have to eradicate a colony. One, either they're ultra-aggressive. Uh, they aggressively defend the, the nest site because they have some Africanized DNA or they're Africanized honeybees, or they're, they're loaded up with parasites and disease. That's a common problem as wow. well. We lose a lot of honeybee colonies due to things like varroa mites, small hive beetles. You know, they, they wow. target their, their honeybee parasites, basically. Damn. A disease too. That. You wouldn't think right. that there's an insect on an insect, you know? Like yeah. A lot of the problem we had, uh, we went through that colony collapse you were describing back in 2004 and 2005. Yes. Luckily, we've seen steady increases in our bee populations in Florida, um, but that we found now through research and scientific research, not emotion, yeah. that it was really the beekeepers themselves that were causing that. We were trying to control the varroa mite, and it's almost like, use the analogy, like chemotherapy and cancer. Uh, they, the oncologists say they're trying to kill the cancer before the chemotherapy kills the patient. Mm -hmm. Well, we were killing the colonies before we could get the varroa mite under control. Wow. And even some some beekeepers were using illegal methods, misapplying pesticides, things like that. And, and, and that's a, a good steward situation. Yeah. You know, yeah. that, that's another problem entirely. Awesome. Connor Keller, very knowledgeable in those areas, of course. Uh, check them out online, insectiq.com, consumerqb.com as well. You can see links to all of our expert contributors there. Uh, you can text pest control as well to our hotline if you want to have uh, termite or pest control done. Uh, we'll put you in touch with Connor. He'll come out and take a look at it, give you a consultation and inspection. And uh, just charge. text our hotline, 813-670-7372. Text to the hotline now, uh, termite and pest control to 813-670-7372. We'll put you right in touch with Connor Keller and his team at Insect IQ. Dot com. When we come back, we've got Fred Muth in the house as well, Tampa Screens and Aluminum, and we're going to have parting words of wisdom from our expert contributors, plus our feel-good story of the day. Engineers create a waterproof, breathable, itch-free cast right here on the Consumer Quarterback Show, ConsumerQB.com. This is work done, and you're listening to the Real Estate Quarterback Show, hosted by my man, Brandon Rhymes. To get in touch with Brandon, call 813-670-7372, online at ConsumerQB.com. Ian Beckel. All right, this week we're going to talk about something exciting as usual. We always have something exciting. Yes, we do. At least it's exciting to us. But this is a question that comes up. TV, hey, it is Friday night. We're not here. Yes, we pre-recorded once again because We Beam TV is working over in Tampa with Dancing with the Star. <laughs> the 62, who knew? I almost said Professional Mortgage Alliance, Joe's Bar and Grill. But actually, it's our 39th week of uh, 62, who knew? Boston. Uh, we're at the wonderful steampunk event at the Verizon Event Center here in 2019. I think it's still August, right? Yeah. Woo! Yes. To be able to help businesses to do the, that part of it. But it's just been a couple years. Well, and I've taken the business card files from our business card. Mm -hmm. Entrepreneurs and professionals of Tampa Bay. Welcome to your hour for getting the information, the tools, and the connections for battles on Radio Influence. Hi. Or you say left hand white, and then they catch the left hand white. 
What it does, it helps you quick with hand-eye coordination. Wow. Yeah. Well, uh, that's You're super connected. We want to introduce you to our 50 plus show partners. We got over 80 categories of expert contributor advice here on the Consumer Quarterback Show. And we want to. That's, that's where we disagree, but that's okay. I said nonviolent. That's okay. Because, you know, we're, we're one of the only states that don't give them back your life. got Jamie Limbaugh. He is from the Next Step image. I love, I love that image because you were telling me earlier. For the type of republic we actually are is actually very correct. Yet politicians and regular people use these words interchangeably, even though technically they are very different. Uh, our you're an overdoer, overachiever, people pleaser, we tend to neglect ourselves. Mm -hmm. And even as Sisters Connected here, you know, with women on script that I know. to the consumer quarterback Brandon Rhymes cutting through your typical media nonsense and offering you a rational and unbiased perspective on current events and life in Tampa Bay online at consumerqb.com all right welcome back thanks for sticking with us Brandon Rhymes here I'm your host of the consumer quarterback show uh, published author and professional speaker check out our book on Amazon become the MVP in your industry by surfing the radio waves launch that into a company with Ken Shamrock the business growth celebrity Academy teaching you how to start and grow your own radio and TV show and increase your celebrity increase your micro celebrity in your local area uh, the business growth celebrity Academy can be found at bgca.co bgca.co and this segment is brought to you by replenish iv solutions say hello to our friends at replenish iv solutions uh, lisa and steve gunnan uh, they've got these awesome uh, vitamin infusions and it's right directly into your bloodstream so it's vitamin ivs that go directly into your bloodstream and helping keep you uh, from getting sick getting cold it's the, they call it the flu season this time of year i don't believe in that flu shots and all that stuff. I believe in these types of programs, uh, vitamin, IV, vitamin IVs, so cancer prevention, cell regenerator, hydration, inflammation, long night out. They've got one called long night out, decrease uh, recovery time from a hangover. But check them out. Let them know the real estate quarterback sent you. They are Replenish IV Solutions, the science of nutritional balance, located on Gandy Boulevard uh, in South Tampa. They also have a location on Bears up uh, by Del Mabry. So Steve and Lisa Gunnan, Longtime friends of the Consumer Quarterback Show. Let them know the real estate quarterback sent you. All right, we're back here in studio. Our goal is to help you win. Uh, as you know, I'm a top realtor in the area. Got a couple of hot listings here. I want to let you know about 516 Alternate 19 in Palm Harbor. Also, uh, Zero Alt 19 in Palm Harbor. This is a great opportunity to build a, a office or a business location right in the hot area of Palm Harbor. Great location between Dunedin and, and uh, Crystal Beach. Just that beautiful area there uh, close to Tarpon Springs. Palm Harbor one of the hottest areas in all of Tampa Bay. Uh, you get an opportunity to build a office here in Tampa Bay and the impact fees have been paid. So great, great land opportunity available there. All right, we've got uh, property at, uh, let's talk about this one over here at uh, 1100 South Myrtle Avenue, 1100 South Myrtle Avenue in Clearwater. Uh, this is another opportunity. The, the building in there is the dilapidated building. So this is 220 feet deep or so by, I want to say about 175 wide on frontage of Myrtle Avenue in Clearwater. Look at the beautiful photography compliments of Fabray Frameworks, the official real estate photographer of the Consumer Quarterback Show. If you see the background there, you've got the bay uh, access. You've got the uh, beautiful opportunity to own real estate close to downtown Clearwater and also uh, the intercoastal waterway is just a couple blocks away. So check out all of our listings at PlatinumMVPTeam.com. All right, every day we're going to tell you something positive in our feel-good story of the day. Tell me something good. 
All right, so a group of engineers in Chicago have designed a new waterproof cast that could send plaster casts into extinction. Startup company Cast 21 invented a breathable, lightweight, waterproof cast that can be fitted in minutes. It also eliminates the itchy sensation caused by the plaster cast. Cast 21's design crafted to prove the break uh, that breaking a limb doesn't have to be a massive inconvenience any longer. Uh, quote, we have this radical notion that you can enjoy your healing experience, says Veronica Hogg, the VP of engineering. You don't need to be restrained from daily activities. Uh, the patent design is constructed from a mesh sleeve filled with liquid resin, uh, which are molded into the correct position for each patient. So, yeah, pretty cool. Advances in science, advances in engineering every day. Good stuff happening out there. Sure is. Yeah, man. So we got Fred Muth in the house. Fred, Tampa Screens and Aluminum. You're, you're adding these awesome, you know, in-between spaces onto sure. properties, yeah. the real estate properties, Tampa Screens, uh, doing a great job out there. Lots yeah, of are. lots of positive feedback that we get from the show. Yeah, and, uh, I, yeah I, man. I mean, they're, they're, you know, not that I'm here to sell the company, but I got to tell you, it's my choice to work with them. They are a very good company to work with. Yeah, that's uh, awesome. It's, you know, last time I was on, I said, it's a very well-oiled machine. We have some personnel in the office a problem is not a problem because it does not go unresolved and, yeah. and, and, and it works out well. And and that's what it takes, especially in construction. That's right. Murphy's law is there every day. Things can go wrong. And uh, when you can figure a way to, uh, you know, put out the fire before it becomes a, a major fire, you got it made. And they do that. We, we work very well together. Um, <clears throat> during the break, we were talking, Connor and I were talking about uh, a, a rescreen, rescreens versus um, replacing the cages. Mm -hmm. And my my theory is if your cage, your pool cage is 25 years old plus, and if you want to refurbish that cage, all new hardware, new doors, new screen, you're probably going to be better off replacing the pool enclosure at that point mm. uh, for a lot of reasons because yeah. everything's upgraded, and and typically um, the refurb uh, is is usually about 75 percent of a whole new cage. Mm. So, and when I say upgraded, the gutter systems are bigger and better. And generally, if a pool cage has been up for 25 years, you may have rotted wood behind the the structural gutter there that they can't get to. Even if they replace the roof, the cage has to come down to get to that. So that's just something I'd like to bring bring to the attention of uh, the listeners because a lot of people will, will ask me that question they'll they'll call in with that that's the lead uh should i refurb mm. or should i replace and and you know yeah. i'm a homeowner too I, I mean every dollar counts yeah but if i look at a, a pool cage and it's not worth repairing we don't recommend repairing it yeah what do you Besides, do with all that old aluminum just out of curiosity th there's value to it that's what i figured yeah, yeah what, what what is unfortunate is it's not considered clean aluminum because it has it has ferrous metal screws in it. So so now the value is about half of what it would be if it was clean aluminum. I saw an ad where the company was advertising, and I think this is their niche, is they repaint and rescreen, and like you said, all new hardware, but that's really not, not a good idea because of all the inherent problems. Yeah, I've never seen a paint job work out very well yeah. on a pool enclosure. There's a lot of reasons. Lipstick on a pig. Well, let's talk about that later, right? <laughs> that's your that's your that's pest the business, show, right? Yeah, so, no, yeah. no. What what it is when they uh, when they paint the metal initially from the factory, it's what they call ESP, where it's uh, electrostatic paint, and is the, either the the metal's charged one way and the and the paint's charged another way, and it sticks together. So you have some of that still there, and it's ugly. Some is chipping off. Now, when you go and you put paint over top of that. Okay, number one, you're not going to sand the whole thing down, like taking it to the body shop. Sure. When you put paint over top of that old paint, it automatically comes off. Mm -hmm. And I think in my 28 years, I think there was four or five of them uh, where, where people actually repainted. Yeah. And, you know, two years later, I'm back there to replace the cage. Yeah, chipping so, away and stuff. Yeah, it's yeah. just, it's, it's not worth it. All right, we got time for our lightning round here. The lightning round! I am so good at lightning rounds. I majored in lightning rounds. All right, here we go. Top tips, nuggets of advice, parting words of wisdom. Connor Keller, InsectIQ.com. So one thing that came to mind is, um, you know, we are a real estate-based show, obviously, and when you're buying or selling a house, especially when you're buying a house, don't fail to get a termite inspection. The bank doesn't always require it, or maybe there's no bank involved. Um, I've recently had two customers that bought a house, started remodeling it, had been in it a month or two, and just found all sorts of termite problems. Did not have it. It was a cash deal, no termite inspection, as is, and they own it. Wow. And, and a lot of it would have easily been spotted by a professional. And, you know, that's the time, obviously, and during that negotiation or before closing, you could probably do something about that or at least get a portion of that 
paid or or I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong, but most real estate contracts have some kind of provision about termite activity or damage or treatment in it unless you know it's it says otherwise yeah so. depending on the, the form if it's right. a far bar versus an as is and then if the you know the lenders are going to want their protection too right definitely every time a bank in my experience requires that wdo inspection yeah it's an actual uh, form we fill out through the uh, state of florida um, and actually the the company who does the inspect the inspector who does the inspection assumes some liability for termite activity for up to 60 days after closing uh, and so, you know, that's why we charge for it as well. Yeah, makes sense. Got about a half a minute for you, Fred. Okay. I always say if you're going to bid out any type of construction project, Mr. and Mrs. Homeowner, ask a lot of questions. Yes. I, I welcome the questions. Absolutely. Our company welcomes the questions because my best customers are those that ask more questions than I really want to hear initially, but I'm glad to answer them. Yeah. And that being said, there's no surprises on the back end. Yeah. Consultative approach, educational approach there with uh, Tampa Screens and Aluminum. Fred Muth, Connor Keller, thanks so much for coming in today. Great show. I uh, appreciate all of our team behind the scenes putting it together we want you to please go out there and consider committing a random act of kindness pack up some food or clothing carry it with you to and from your commute hand it to that person that you see in need volunteer some time volunteer some money and we'll see you next time right here on the consumer quarterback show follow us online at brandon rhymes one on instagram and twitter and the consumer quarterback show page on facebook and we've got our youtube channels there with a lot of great content we'll see you next time consumer quarterback show consumerqb.com you've been listening to the consumer quarterback brandon rhymes whether it's real estate consumer or financial advice let brandon call your next play contact brandon rhymes at 813-670-7372 that's 813-670-7372 online at consumerqb.com and join us next time for the consumer quarterback show